Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Five years ago, I revoked my membership from the NRA. At that time, I was on a inst uh, payment installment plan that was making its way toward a lifetime membership. I had a couple payments left and I let it go entirely. I didn't like what was happening with the leadership of the NRA. I did not like the support of red flag laws and the uncontesting of the bump stock ban. And I said, I can no longer support a gun rights group that supports these ideas along with the poor leadership at the top where they were raking in millions and begging the membership for more and more money. And I said, I'm done. I joined Gun Owners of America, who is a phenomenal gun group, non-compromising gun group that I highly suggest everybody joins, as well as my local gun groups here in Michigan. But then we fast forward five years later, and we look at the political climate taking place today. I don't like what I'm seeing or what I'm hearing, and I fully believe if... Things don't work out with that Georgia Senate runoff. Our gun rights are severely compromised. I think they are already, but if the Democrats get control, we are in serious trouble. I'm talking red flag laws, 10-day waiting periods, magazine restrictions, and the banning of several firearms. They've laid it all out there already. This is no surprise. And then you've got Bloomberg and Soros dumping millions of dollars into Georgia because it all boils down to that. And I think this is a time we need gun owners on board and put our differences aside. Now the NRA is still a very powerful gun group. They have millions of members. Many have left, no doubt about that. And they still have big fat pockets. Now I just read that they are throwing tens of thousands of dollars into the Georgia race as well. And I start thinking to myself, okay, I can get behind this now. Am I happy with everything the NRA has done? Or where they currently are in the fight for our gun rights? Not as much as Gun Owners of America, but I do think it's time for me to rejoin the NRA because I cannot sit back and allow the world's most powerful gun rights organization to fight for our gun rights without me included. To me, it makes no sense, okay? They used to be an extremely uh, powerful and feared amongst politicians gun rights group. Nobody does better in terms of gun safety for new shooters and even CPL classes, okay, than the NRA. They, they do a lot that's well. And you hear the, the politicians and the media, the first person they blame every time that something bad happens with some idiot with a gun, the NRA, and their membership. And I started thinking, you know, it's about time for me to put my differences aside and be a part of that. Because as soon as something happens, they're coming after you and they're coming after me. As soon as some idiot criminal misuses a gun, they're coming after you and they're coming after me. We need all hands on board, okay? It all falls on the Georgia race. If that does not work out, I full-heartedly, see our gun rights severely compromised to a degree that we have not seen before. Biden and Harris told us what their plan was. They told us in advance. Okay, some of these other people, Feinstein, like they had lists, pages and pages long of various firearms that they plan to ban. And if given the power, they will. And so, if you ask, well, why are you joining the NRA? You know, Wayne Lapierre this, Wayne Lapierre that, the leadership this, the millions, the fat cats, all that. I'm not denying that. But I feel like I need to play a role in fighting against what's happening to, to put my little bit of money, I don't think $35 is, a year is too much to ask to put toward that Senate race in Georgia. And I do believe that the higher numbers of membership that the NRA, the Gun Owners of America, your local gun groups, and so many others, the larger amount of numbers they have is powerful, and those are voters, and we need to get back to a position where they don't want to tick off the gun owners too much because they are a powerful organization. The NRA still does a lot of good things, 
and it's time for me to support them. Now, before you say, well, you're getting paid to drive membership and do all that, that's completely false. Okay, I'm telling you what I'm doing. Yes, I'll deal with the crazy emails. Yes, I'll deal with the phone calls of people begging for more money. Yes, I will deal with all the stuff that makes the NRA, a, a, in some ways, a money-grabbing scheme because they are, but they also fight for our gun rights, and that's the part I feel that I need to be a part of in a time like this when gun rights are so fragile, and they will blame you, me, and the NRA, but at least we'll have strength in numbers. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.